Good morning. I am Francis Mensa, Associate Professor of Physics at Virginia Union University. And I would like to present today on uh, our recent EROS uh, 2021 research campaign over the Atlantic Ocean with uh, the uh, Noir on Brown ship. The work was done together with three VUU students, Christopher Thompson, Ariana Beffer, and Jordan Porter in collaboration with Dr. Lali uh, from Noah Nedis and Dr. Uh, Morris from Arizona State University. Uh, this is basically the 14th uh, trip, 14th Sahara Desert Eros, Erosos and Ocean Science Expeditions across the Atlantic Ocean. This one occurred particularly from January 15th to February 24th with the uh, Noah Ron Brown ship and three Virginia Union University students. Several measurements were done. Ozone, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide. This was also measured. To measure the gases, we use the thermoscientific barrel 49I for ozone, 48C for carbon monoxide, and 43C for sulfur dioxide analyzer. Microtops was provided uh, by NASA to measure, uh, you know, aerosol optical depth. Primary data analysis shows uh, several dust events occurring periodically. And we can see that from the day we depart until the day we arrive. We focus particularly on uh, one day where uh, dust was very high, February 3rd. And you can see how around noon, 1221, dust was very high. Aerosol optical dust was high. And at the same time, sulfur dioxide has not uh, made any significant you know, increase or any significant change. Our data was also compared to satellite data. For instance, this is one of them from NOAA Global Forecast System Prediction of uh, organic carbon aerosols. And you can see how it's coming from the West Coast Africa you know, to Latin America and uh, up to uh, United States of America. So this shows that uh, in a, there's a lot of carbon, uh, organic carbon. Um, this is another satellite data that was also used for data analysis for that day of February 3rd. For this one is from Navy Atmospheric Aerosource Prediction System Forecast. And we can see um, that uh, there's some surface um, near the coast, near the coast of the land, and in between, surface was kind of low. But we do see some smoke, a lot of smoke also coming from the West Coast Africa and moving toward the Latin America and the, uh, the coast of uh, uh, the eastern coast of America in Florida. Also, uh, the surface concentration, you know, uh, can also be seen, and we have been measuring all that. Another measurement that we made was the carbon monoxide, and we see that carbon monoxide was high you know, around the coast of the lens, uh, but um, lower, you know, in between. That is over the Atlantic Ocean. So we see some periodic also, periodic uh, motion of the carbon monoxide, but a little lower between around 1.5 uh, part per million ppm. In summary, the cruise provided opportunity to collect air samples measurement in multiple uh, transatlantic dust events. Observation were compared using satellite data. Uh, we have seen the maximum aerosol optical thickness occurring on uh, February 3rd without significant increase in surface dioxide. Acknowledgement, we want to thank uh, National Science Foundation, NCAS-M, and also color weather color of weather, which provided support for student travel. Thank you.